Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and welcome to episode two of Vector Bootcamp. Today we're going to be talking about a real-world approach to actually tracing shapes. You've already seen the basics, but let's see how it actually looks in practice. So just like before, we're using the pen tool. It is in the shape mode. Here I've given it a black fill, but I'll be working with a, sort of a lowered opacity just so you can see the overlap. Normally, you could just work however you want. But our goal is to trace these shapes, and I've provided them for you below the post, so I encourage you to follow along. Just like before, I am doing these hard anchor points, clicking around, and then I find myself with a question. If you just followed what I said last week, you would kind of proceed down this way and carry on. What I do in practice much more commonly is to start with the biggest shape possible and then to manipulate it after the fact. And in this case, the biggest shape is actually just sort of this square. Then using keyboard shortcuts, we go in here and we refine. So I happen to know that the easiest way to make sort of a symmetrical looking arc like this is to have three points. Points at the end, the start, and in the center at what's called the apex. So instead of putting that up to chance, what I'm gonna do is just have the pen tool active. When I hover over this line, my cursor changes into a little plus mark. So I'm gonna put center, uh, start, and end. And then I will hold down control, switching to the direct selection tool here. And I'll just drag this out. So what I have here is sort of correct, but obviously not quite there. So the next thing I need to do is to get my tangency correct. I know I want this to be a symmetrical curve, so I want to work on these handles together. If I hold down Alt, it'll break the tangency and I have to work on one at a time. That's not what I want. So I hold down Control and I pull them out and I try and get it kind of lined up close. Now, I don't need to get it perfect at this phase because I still need to work on the start and end points. For these, since it goes from hard edge to sweeping curve, I do want to break the tangent. So I'll switch to Alt or Option on a Mac and the cursor changes to that little angle. And then I break this and pull it in the direction I want. Same over here. Then maybe I go back to the middle one here once again, since I want it symmetrical, I will work with control held down and kind of a tweak a little bit. Then go back to Alt and tweak this. That's looking good. So once again, I started with the big enclosing shape and then I added extra points and shifted them around. Okay, same idea is gonna apply here. We're just gonna make it one level more difficult. So I'll say, here's the big shape. But you'll notice, if I hide this real quick, I've got a sweeping corner here. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I just wanna pull out this uh, little arch here. So that'll be just like the last one. Make sure my points are selected here. Add a point right here in the center. Hold down control, shift it a bit, okay? And then I'm going to keep holding down control and kind of pull these handles out a little bit. There we go, nice. Now about this corner, it shouldn't be a hard corner like I have here. It actually needs to be a radius. What I know from experience is that a radius essentially looks like this. Instead of point, point, point like this, it is a point containing either end of the radius, and then you get rid of that middle point, and the result is this sort of smooth circle between the two. Well, right now, if I come back to my points here, I just have the one corner point. What I want to do then is add an extra point here and here, and then hovering over an existing point, I can remove this one, and I'm almost here. Now I just need to pull these handles back into place a bit. They're going to kind of extend too far. Shifting around what I need to. There we go. So I started with one point that defined a, a hard corner. And then to smooth it out, I'll show you just one more example right here. I added a control point and a control point and then remove the original corner and then just pull those handles back. And in doing so, we have manually 
put a radius here on this corner. There you go. What I encourage you to do is to take this sheet and match all these shapes as exactly as you can. If you want a little more practice, just make up some of your own shapes, but try and include a very controlled collection of hard corners, smooth sweeps. And if it's a complicated shape like this, think about how you can start with a big containing shape, you know, like maybe start this way and then later go back and modify kind of pulling things to where they need to go and using those keyboard shortcuts to change your tangents. These are skills that take time to practice and that's what this month is for. So enjoy your boot camp, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for coming to the site guys.